So many people talk out of ignorance, not knowing who Christ is and what Christianity is all about. And they talk very premature, very childish. What kind of a God that dies on the cross? Please, you need to grow up. You need to understand what love is all about. You need to understand what justice is all about. You need to understand what evilness is all about. You need to understand what forgiveness is all about. The Lord rose from the dead to say to those who receive him as Lord and Savior, I love you. I paid the price for you. I forgive you. I washed away all your evilness. Now, in return, I'll ask you for one thing. Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? That's the only question. The Lord will never ask you any other question. The Lord will never say, why didn't you preach for me? The Lord will never say, why didn't you sing for me? The Lord will never say, why didn't you fast for me? Why didn't you pray? Why didn't you come to church? The Lord will say, why didn't you love me? Do you love me? The Lord asked one question after his resurrection to Simon Peter to teach us all and to reveal to us all. This is the only question I will ask you when you come to me. When I call you to me, it's the only question. Don't expect questions, one only. Do you love me? If you can answer this question, heaven is all yours. But if you cannot answer this question, you cannot enter heaven because heaven is all about love. And I won't force you to live with someone you do not love, even if that someone is God. But in order to love him, you need to know him. Who can know God? No one. But do you know your dad? Of course. Your dad is not a stranger, but God is. You ask those people who believe in God, do you know him? They'll say no. Well, if you don't know him, what kind of a worship is this? Who are you kidding? Who are you bluffing? Have you seen God? No. Do you see God? No. Can you get to God? No. Do you know God? No. Can you ever know God? No. I serve him. What a liar. But when will you know this God? When this God becomes your dad. Now, do you know your dad? Of course. If you don't know your dad, then you've got a problem. This is why I love my dad. Because I came to know dad. And through knowing him, it led me to loving him. Because I cannot claim to love someone I do not know. I can only love the one whom I know. So at least to love is knowledge. And to get to know him, he cannot be a stranger. He cannot be the unreachable God. He needs to be within your reach. That's why I could not, I could not go up to him. He came down to me. What's wrong with that? How come on one hand you claim God is the almighty, but you say God cannot be a human? Then where is this almightiness then? If God cannot be a human, he is no longer God because he cannot do anything and everything. Since he cannot do anything and everything, then he is not God. So which God are you worshiping? Can God become a man? Yes. If not, he is not God. Because God can do anything and everything. That means he can become a human being. So in Christianity, we don't just say the human Jesus became God. No, we say God became the human Jesus, right? Not the human became God. No, God became man, not man became God. That is wrong. But God became man. That is absolutely fine because he is almighty. He can do anything and everything. And since he's love, wouldn't he want to be one of the, one of his own creation? 
the ultimate creation, the crown of all creations, the human race. He loves the animal because he created the animal. He loves the plant because he created the plant. He loves the fish, he created the fish. But the ultimate of all creations is his son, the human being, his image and likeness. All creations have a soul and a body, except the human race has an extra element, the spirit. Love the Lord Jesus, my beloved. Love the Lord Jesus. Love the Lord Jesus and let him work in you and show you how to live for him.